Hello everybody and welcome back to The Second Shelf. Um, uh, a while ago, a couple of months ago, I did a video um, about three books written by women who won the Nobel Prize. Um, that was a read-along uh, run by Reading Women and one of the prompts was read a book written by a woman who won the Nobel Prize. And when I filmed this video, I also said that it might be an idea to do a read-along and read uh, books written by women who won the Nobel Prize. Um, and I thought about it and I decided to do it, actually. So this is an announcement of a read-along. Uh, there are 14 women who won the Nobel Prize, um, but there I, I will only uh, do the read-along um, with 11 of them. Uh, three of them were poets and I don't read nearly enough poetry to talk sensibly about a poetry collection. So I thought that that just doesn't make sense. So I limit um, this read along to the 11 women who either wrote uh, fiction or memoirs or nonfiction, but not the three women who wrote poetry. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Maybe somebody in my audience who really knows a lot about poetry can pick up those three. Anyway, so 11 are women, and we will start, uh, we do, we, we'll, I'll do it chronologically, uh, one every month, uh, starting in November. Um, and I know it's only the beginning of October now, but I thought I'd do this announcement video uh, really far ahead of time so that you can, if you want to participate, if you want to read along, um, that you can have a look at the schedule um, and uh, have time to get the, the first book, you know, from the library or borrow it somewhere or, or buy it. Um, and th then you have also enough time to read it uh, during November. I will film a video uh, the last Sunday of each month, starting in November. Um, and you can either, of course, you know, read read along, which I would love. But if you don't want, just watch the video. That's fine as well, of course. Um, I will leave the schedule uh, down below. I picked one book for each uh, Nobel woman. I tried to pick, first of all, a book that is... Uh, accessible in, in English if the uh, the author is not writing or hasn't written in the English language. Uh, it's not too long and I also tried to find a work that has been written and published before uh, the author received the Nobel Prize so that we get a feel for the work that uh, the author was awarded the prize for. All the preliminaries. If you have any questions, just ask me down in the comments. And we will start off, um, like I said, we do it chronologically from November. Uh, I, I'm not going to finish this sentence. We start off. Anyway, we do it chronologically. Uh, we start in November and we end in September next year because in October um, the Nobel Prize will be announced. So I wanted to finish just before uh, the 2019 prize. I mean, this year, as you know, there won't be a Nobel Prize uh, for literature due to, you know, problems in the committee. But I assume that next year we, we will have a Nobel Prize. And then I thought it's, it's just a good timing to finish just before the prize is announced, which is always mid-October. Anyway, to reopen the sentence that I didn't finish. <laughs> the first book we will read, because of the chronological order, is the first woman ever to win the Nobel Prize, and that is the Swedish author Selma Lagerlöf, who won the prize in 1909. Now, in my video that I mentioned earlier, um, I uh, talked about Selma Lagerlöf, especially for her children's book, The Adventures of Niels. But, as many of the commentators pointed out, uh, she she wasn't a children's author, she wrote literary fiction. So I picked uh, not one of her children's books for this read-along, but the I, I think the most famous book um, she wrote as literary fiction, The Saga of Gerste Berling. And this book has been translated into English many times. I will read um, the one you see here, so the Penguin Classic edition, but you can read, of course, in any other language or any other edition um, if you have other preferences. So we will start with this book uh, on the 1st of November. And on the last Sunday of November, I will uh, film the video talking about the book. That's basically 
the plan. So this is an announcement for a read-along taking place from November this year until September next year, and we will read one book uh, by a woman who won the Nobel Prize each month. And you find the books I picked and the schedule down below. I hope you will join me. Let me know whether you plan to, maybe just for one book, or maybe, of course, I would love if you join me for all the books, um, or you let me know whether you plan on uh, watching the video because many people told me that they would like a read along like this. So I'm, I'm curious to hear what you think about it. But in any case, I will start uh, in November uh, reading the Gösta, uh, the saga of Gösta Berling by Selma Lagerlöf. This was it for this big announcement of a read-along, my first read-along ever on Booktube. Uh, so this is exciting. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you like this idea still of this noble woman, uh, noble women read-along. Uh, talk to me down in the comments as always, and I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye-bye.